Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, uh, let's check it. As n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity, uh, natural log looks like this. As n tends to infinity, the natural log, this bit here, will just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and when you power it, it's just going to get even bigger and bigger and bigger. So the point here is that this thing here is heading towards infinity. As n tends to infinity, this thing here is also heading towards infinity. You've got infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form, which will, which will mean you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So, so differentiate the top, that will then give you this. Differentiate the bottom, that will then give you this. So now, um, now you're, you're, you're dividing something by, by one. So, uh, so let's forget about this one. So here you've got, here you've got one block multiplying a fraction. So it gets multiplied to the top, giving you, giving you this. So now if, if you look at this, this is very similar to, um, to our original here. This was our original. And, uh, and when, when you apply L'Hopital's rule, rule once, it will then give you this. Um, this is very similar to, uh, to this. So what we can do, okay, let's, let's check it again. As n tends to infinity, this whole thing here is heading towards infinity. This thing here is heading towards infinity. So you can apply infinity over infinity. So you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So you, you, you repeat the process. So differentiate there, differentiate this. That will then give you this thing here. And then, uh, differentiate this. That will then give you this thing here. You're dividing by, by one. So here you've got one block multiplying a fraction. So this thing here gets multiplied to the top, giving you this. So if, if you tidy up this whole thing here, it will then give you this. Now if you look at this, this is very similar to what we, we, uh, we had earlier. So if, if you check it, as n tends to infinity, you're gonna get infinity over infinity again, which will mean you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So you, so you're really repeating the process. So repeat the process, um, repeat the process 300 times. That will then take you to, to here. 300, 300 factorial. And then, uh, natural log, natural log to the power of one. So the last one will be to the power of one. So, um, so, so, uh, this here is a constant, so you can actually take it out. So it really boils down to this. Um, and when you get to this stage, you should know, um, the, the natural log graph climbs, it, it climbs, but very slow compared, in comparison to, to, uh, to n. Well, as n tends to infinity, we've done this, um, this heads towards zero. This whole thing here heads towards zero. So you've got zero times a constant here, which will give you a limit of zero. Okay. So next question. Um, so find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, um, let's, uh, let's check it. As n tends to infinity, you can see that this thing here is heading towards infinity and um, square root of n looks like this, it's still heading towards infinity. So here, infinity, here, infinity. So you can apply L'Hopital's rule, differentiate this, that will then give you this whole thing here. Differentiate this, that will then give you this whole thing here. It looks quite ugly, but if you tidy, if you tidy this whole thing up, it will give you, it will give you, it will give you something like this. And then if you tidy this thing up, it will then give you this. And then, uh, and then if you tie this thing up, because, uh, this take away one will give you negative a half. So if, if you tidy this whole thing up there, it will then give you this. If you tidy this whole thing here, it will then give you this. And then if, if you look at this now, now this is very similar to what we had before. Uh, this is very similar to what we had before. This is very similar to, um, to, uh, to this. So, so if, if you check it again, um, if you check it again, here you've got as n tends to infinity, this whole thing here is heading towards infinity. This thing here is, he the point here is, this, this is very similar to, um, to what we had earlier. So you can apply L'Hopital's rule again and again and again into, so, so you, you, you basically repeat the process. Repeat the process. It's going to give you some sort of constant and then the last term will be, will be uh, to the power of 1. And then, um, well, if, if you repeat the, 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 the process again and again, um, 
then 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 you would get some some sort of constant here. So remember, this is a number, a constant that we don't really care about. Just like this ten here, this is a constant that we don't really care about. The point here is that you're going to get some constant. If you repeat this process many times, you will get a, some sort of constant, natural log of n, natural log of n, and the last term will be will be one. So uh, so the, this um, yeah. So 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 that will then give you this. So now this is a constant. So you can you can take the constant out here. That will then give you that will then give you that constant. And then now it's just a matter of um, of us um, finding the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. Hopefully you you uh, you would have recognized this by now. But if you don't, then let then then let's try and evaluate it as n tends to infinity of this thing here. Um, you've got You've got natural log. Uh, oh, sorry, you've got natural log looking like this. This is heading towards infinity. This is also heading towards infinity. So you can apply L'Hopital's rule. Differentiate it. it will give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then you've got one thing divided by another thing. That's the same as getting that thing multiplying the reciprocal. And then tidy up. So uh, top times top, bottom times bottom. That will then give you this. And then you've got a half take away one that will then give you this thing here, and then uh, and then here you've got a constant. So times that thing that times the other constant that you don't really care about. So this is something that you don't really care about. And then uh, this thing here will, will be well, the n to the power of negative a half is really square root of n. Now one divided by remember square root of n keeps on climbing, climbing. So you're going to get one divided by Infinity, which this thing here is heading towards zero. So you, so you've got zero times something that you, times a constant that you don't really care about. Overall, it will be zero. So the limit will be zero.